Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Do you want to work with the UK's leading trades and labour supplier? Danny Sullivan Group operate on the largest, most prestigious infrastructure projects across the UK and you can be part of our dynamic team. Here at the Danny Sullivan Group, people are at the core of everything we do and here's what they had to say. A family run business with family values. Because it has a caring and respectful working environment. Knowing I'm going home safely every day. We are now recruiting and you can register online today. Hello to you all and a very warm welcome to the Irish in the UK and we hope that you've all had a lovely New Year celebration. Now last year none of us had much to smile about so we thought for our very first show this year we'd try and bring a smile to your faces with a little bit of fun and there's no better man to do that than Conal Gallon. Now here's Conal with one of his clips and to be honest with you I don't know whether it's coming or going but this is titled, Going Tomorrow. I started on a journey about a year ago to a little town called Morrow in the county of Mayo. Well, I've never been much of a traveller and I really didn't know that Morrow was the hardest place I'd ever tried to go. So I went down to the station for my tickets and applied for tips regarding Morrow, expecting not to be denied. I said, hi, my friend, I'd like to go to Morrow and return. No later than tomorrow, for I haven't time to burn. <laughs> Says he to me now, let me see if I have heard you right. You'd like to go tomorrow and return tomorrow night. <laughs> well, you should have gone tomorrow yesterday and back today. For the train that goes tomorrow is a mile upon its way. <laughs> Says I, my friend, it seems to me you're talking through your hat. There is a town called Morrow on the line, now tell me that. Oh, there is, says he, but take from me a quiet little tip. To go from here tomorrow is a 14-hour trip. And the train today, tomorrow, leaves today at 8.35, and at half past 10 tomorrow is the time it will arrive. So to get from here tomorrow is a 14-hour tour. And can you get today, tomorrow, and get back today? You can't. Says I, I'd like to go tomorrow, but can I go today? And get tomorrow by tonight if there is no delay. <laughs> well, well, says he to me, I've got no more to say. You can't get anywhere tomorrow and get back again today. <laughs> I said, it's, I guess you know it all. But kindly let me say, how can I get tomorrow if I leave this town today? He says, you can't get anywhere tomorrow and get back again today because the train that goes tomorrow is a mile upon its way. I was so disappointed, I was mad enough to swear, for the train had gone tomorrow and had left me standing there. <laughs> oh, your man was right in telling me my mind had gone astray. We might never see tomorrow, so we'll just enjoy today. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh, and how long is it since your last confession? Oh, it must be five or six months, Father. And tell me, my son, what are your sins? Well, Father, it's, it's, it's really one sin only. Um, 
Am I barred from the Catholic Church, Father? No, you're not barred from the Catholic Church. Now, what are your sins? Well, it's like I say, Father, it's, it's really one, one sin. You see, the other day, the wife was getting a chicken out of the freezer. And, are you sure I'm not barred from the Catholic Church? No, of course you're not barred from the Catholic Church. Now, what are your sins? Like I said the other day, the, the wife was getting a chicken out of the freezer. She was bent over and, and I, I, I don't know what came over me, Father. I, 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 just, I just couldn't help myself, Father. And I, I just tackled her there and then, Father. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure I'm, I'm not barred from the Catholic Church? You're not barred from the Catholic Church. Now, why do you keep asking? Well, Father, I'm barred out of Tesco's. <laughs> Is there any farmers? Is there any farmers? Hey, well, farmers, you will know what I'm talking about then. Or maybe not. Remember Casey went to see Murphy one time, and Murphy's a farmer, and he's walking down the farmyard, and he heard all this music. He heard this music coming from one of the sheds. So, and, and, and Casey went over, and he, he looked through the, the wooden door. Jeez, what was inside? Murphy, stripped down to the underpants. And him and the music all going, and him up beside the Massey Ferguson. Try. Him giving her a little up to the back wheel of the Massey. <laughs> Casey opened the door. He said, Murphy, what the fuck? What's going on here? He said. <laughs> and Murphy got a wee bit embarrassed. He says, oh, God, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is, Casey. He says, he says, me and the wife hasn't been getting on that well. He says, I'll tell you the truth. He says, she's gone off me. She's gone off me. He says, and I didn't know what to do. And so I went to the doctor, and, and the doctor gave me some advice. And Casey says, what advice did he give you? Well, he, he told me to do something sexy to attract her. And... <laughs> Next time you see a tractor going down the road, go. <laughs> different, different picture. He was, in, he was in the farm one day. Murphy's in the farm one day and he's, he's, he's in the buyer. He's milking the cows. He's milking the cows. And the next thing he heard a car pulling up in the yard. And he looked out the buyer door. He said, It was a squad car. A guard that car. And he said, There's something wrong. So he went over to the, the squad car and the guard got out. He didn't recognize him. It wasn't, wasn't the one where the boys he knew. And he says, Is everything all right, guard? Yes. So what, 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 what has you here? He says, I'm here to search your farm. So what for? He says, for cannabis. <laughs> she says, I have no cannabis, he said. But he says, I'll be the judge of that, he says. There's cannabis being grown everywhere, with the middle of crops, the middle of fields. He says, I'm going to check everywhere and find out. Or he says, no bother at all, no problem. Fire away, the gun's your own. He says, no problem at all. But the only he says a wee bit of warning, he says, before you four years search the farm, whatever you do, he says Murphy, don't go into the bottom field. Whatever you do, do not go into the bottom field. And the guard looked, How dare you tell me where I can and cannot go? He says, I will go where I like, he said. Do you see that badge there? That badge there, I show that badge, he says, I can go anywhere. I can go in every acre of land you have. He says, I can go into your buyers, your outhouses, he says, I can go into your house, I can go into your bedroom, he says, your wardrobe everywhere. He says, That badge, he says, allows me to go everywhere. Show that badge I don't you dare tell me what I can do. Murphy says, whatever you think, no bother. <laughs> Murphy left and went back to the milking. He says, about 10 minutes later, Murphy's milking away, and the next thing he hears this roaring out in the yard. Ah! And he looked out the fire, and, and there's the yard coming, thundering up the yard, and a bull coming after him. And, <laughs> and, and he spotted Murphy, he shouts at Murphy. Murphy says, what will I do, what will I do? Murphy says, show me your badge. <laughs> Right, you. I want you to fill this. What, from here? <laughs> I'll be back shortly, and I want that filled.
are Murphy. How are you? Shivers. Well, 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 to tell you the truth, if it was any better, I couldn't stick it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I brought you some apple juice. Uh, where will I leave it? Do you know what you'll do, Shimmers? Pour it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are they like in here, anyway? Well, do you know, Shimmers, the staff in here are lovely. Apart from one. Apart from one nurse, oh. And who's she? Oh, you wouldn't know her. You know, I don't think she's been around here at all. Oh, they never are. No, they're all <laughs> strangers. They're all strangers. Very crabby. Oh, you couldn't like her if she was covered in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yourself. You felt it. Mind you, it's a bit cloudy. I think so. Yeah. Well, do you know, nurse, you're right. It is a bit cloudy. Do you know what we'll do? What? We'll put it through again. <laughs> There's a great thing about you, Mary, ladies and gentlemen. It travels all over the world. I remember the time I remember the time Murphy was in America. I remember the time Murphy was in America and he was touring around America and he ended up in Alabama, in sort of the, 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 down the, the southern part of the United States, in a real Bible belt, Bible thumping country. You know, but, 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 you know, you know. Uh, do you ever watch those? Do you ever watch those programs? You know, on, on Sunday morning, you see them in America. There, I know they're on, the, on, on one of the channels here as well. You know, the, the real, the real Bible thumping. You know, the, do you believe? Do you believe? Ah, is there love in the room? I believe. In do you believe? I believe. Send the money. I believe. <laughs> it's that part of the world. Right? I'm off one evening. A few drinks in him. A few drinks in him. He's, you know, he's, he's well, well, langer, you know. And, and, he, and he come across one of these full immersion baptisms, you know, in the river job. You know, the river of Jordan job, where the whole body goes in, you know. Born to, to be wild. Born again. And so Murphy, 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 a few drinks. And he joined the queue. He joined on the end of the line, you know. He thought it was a chip van. <laughs> she is the next thing after about five minutes he found himself up to his oxters in the river. The big preacher beside him and the preacher reached for him by the head, stayed into the water. After five seconds he dragged him up and he looked at me and he says, Do you see Jesus? And Murphy says, Say fucking nothing, say nothing. The boy held him down for ten seconds, dragged him up. My friend, do you see Jesus? Or if he's spitting and farting, I say, say, say nothing. <laughs> so I pushed him down for 20 seconds. He pulled him up and said, My friend, do you see Jesus? And Morphe said, He says, Are you sure this is where he fell in? He did. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. IJK's Scrap Metal, Manchester. We provide payment for scrap metal, removal and disposal of cars and abandoned vehicles. A Weybridge facility, authorised treatment facility, recycling and waste management. Full compliance with all legal requirements. IJK Scrap Metal, Manchester. A friendly, professional and reliable service. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family run business. <music> No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. The Warrington Irish Club, 83 Orford Lane, Warrington. A friendly and welcoming club, keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night. 
tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports shown on the big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and crafts. Pop in for a friendly welcome and to book your event at the Warrington Irish Club, give Frank a call. Lola Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Buckhurst Plant Hire, operating nationwide and supplying equipment to the construction, civil engineering and utility industries. Buckhurst is synonymous with quality equipment and excellent service. Call us today. IJK's Scrap Metal, Manchester. We provide payment for scrap metal, removal and disposal of cars and abandoned vehicles. A Weybridge facility, authorised treatment facility, recycling and waste management. Full compliance with all legal requirements. IJK Scrap Metal, Manchester. A friendly, professional and reliable service. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Do you want to work with the UK's leading trades and labour supplier? Danny Sullivan Group operate on the largest, most prestigious infrastructure projects across the UK and you can be part of our dynamic team. Here at the Danny Sullivan Group, people are at the core of everything we do and here's what they had to say. A family run business with family values. Because it has a caring and respectful working environment. Knowing I'm going home safely every day. We are now recruiting and you can register online today. She's always very nice to me She always asks me endlessly Would you like a cup of tea? The first thing in the morning When the day is dawning And I'm just lying there yawning She always says to me Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup Half a cup, me darling Well, you know that I don't like to boast But when I'm sitting there eating me toast The thing I like the very most Is half a cup of tea It's a mighty start to the day You know I love me cup of tea So when she asks, I always say Half a cup, me darling Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup would you like some tea? Says I half a cup, half a cup, me darling. When I met the missus, I was on a winner. But Lord, you couldn't eat her dinner. Is it any wonder I'm getting thinner? I'll just take half a cup. Everybody, would you like some tea? Would you like some coffee? Half a cup. Would you like some soup? Half a cup. Well, what do you want? Half a cup. Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup. Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup. Would you like some tea? Says I half a cup. Half a cup, me darling. When I go to heaven, who will I meet at the pearly gates? 
old St. Pete, would you like some tea as a heavenly treat, says I. Would you like some tea, says I, half a cup? Would you like some tea, says I, half a cup? Would you like some tea, says I, half a cup? Half a cup, me darling. Would you like some tea, says I, half a cup? Would you like some tea, says I, half a cup? Would you like some tea, says I, half a cup? Half a cup, me darling. Half a cup, me darling. We Dan is nine years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Murphy is nine years of age, and that's an amazing fact. I've been talking about him for 25 years, <laughs> and he's still nine. He's, 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 just, he's, he's just an absolutely wee blinder of a fella, you know. One day, one day he's, he's, he's at school. He says, have any teachers in? He's at school, and, 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 and he's out. You know the 11 o'clock break? You know when he's out at the 11 o'clock break, and he's out, in the, he's out in the front yard, and he's playing away with his friends, and next thing, what does he see? What does he see going past in front of the gate but his daddy's car? And he waves away his daddy, and, 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 and daddy didn't see him. Daddy and Auntie Francis were in the car, and the two of them driving along, and he waved away, and, and, and they didn't see him, so he watched them for a wee while, and then, then they went down the side of the school, you see, down, and he waved away, and actually they didn't see him at all. And then, then they went down the old road, down to the woods, and, and Dan was watching, and then they parked the car, and then, and, then, and then Daddy and Auntie Francis started kissing and all, and, and you know, and foot and, and, and whatnot. But anyway, I don't want to bore you. And <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that, that, that evening after school, Dan, Dan couldn't wait to get home from school. He went into the house and he met Mammy, and, and, and Mammy says, well, Dan, what sort of a day had you at school? Oh, Mammy, it was brilliant the day at school. He said, brilliant. He said, the 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock break. He said, I was out at 11 o'clock break. And, and do you know who I seen going past the front of the school? Daddy. And I waved and he didn't see me. Oh, she says, oh, your daddy goes down that road. He says, him, him and Auntie Francis is in the car and I waved and they didn't see me. Oh, were they? Yeah. And, and what did they do then, Dan? He said, well, then they went down the side of the school and I waved and they didn't see me. And, 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 and what did they do then? Then they went down the old road into the woods and then they stopped the car. And, and, and what did they do then, Dan? And then, and then daddy and Auntie Francis started kissing and canoodling and all. <laughs> and, and what did they do then, Dan? And then, and then da Daddy took off Auntie Francis' shirt. <laughs> and, no, do you know, do you know what, Dan? Do you know what, Dan? She said, do you, know, do you know, save that for later. Do you know when yourself and me and your daddy is having dinner? Maybe you could tell us the two of us the story, because your daddy would love to hear it. <laughs> so, that was, so that was grand. We were having dinner that evening, talking about this and that. And then the next thing, in the middle of the dinner, Mommy piped up. She says, Dan, what, what was that you were telling me this morning being at school and you saw Daddy? Well, that's right, he says, I was out in the front, in the front, he says, at 11 o'clock break, and I saw Daddy and Auntie Francis going past in the car, and, and I waved, and they didn't see me, and then they went down the side, and then they went down, down the old road into the woods and parked the car. And, and, and what, what, what did they do then, Dan? And then, then Daddy and Auntie Francis started kissing and canoodling and all. And, and what did they do then, Dan? And, and then Daddy, Daddy took off Auntie Francis' shirt. And, and, and what did they do then? And then, then, then they reclined the seat. And all. And, and what did they do then, Dan? They'd done the same thing as you and Uncle George used to do when Daddy was away, remember? Say, Elizabeth, how's your son Nigel doing? Oh, Nigel, he's doing very, very well. He started building houses. And he's very big in the property development. He actually gave his best friend a house! Oh, <laughs> gave it to him! <laughs> so how's your son, Brian? How's he doing? Ah, uh, Brian? Well, he started off in car sales. <laughs> Worked his way right to the top. <laughs> in fact, he, he's got his own dealership. Oh. <laughs> Several garages. <laughs> you know, he's doing so well that he gave his best friend a BMW. No. A brand new BMW. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, Murphy, how's your son doing? Well, uh, our lad, yeah, he's, he's, he's doing very well, yes. He, he's a hairdresser. <laughs> and he tells me now he's gay. Hmm. 
doing my best. Really? <laughs> and how's he doing? He's doing very, very well. He's very popular. He's a lot of friends. As a matter of fact, his last two boyfriends, one of them gave him a house and the other one gave him a brand new BMW. <laughs> My father went to Fatima, my mother went to knock. They said thousands of novenas, and I even failed the marks. I know I didn't study, but I never stopped believing. My granny claimed Coke Patrick, but I still failed to leave Well, here I am at the big exam for the 47th go. I just can't understand it, all those failures in a row. The rosary every evening, then early into mass. But for all the good that done me, I should have stayed in class. So my father went to Fatima, my mother went to knock. They said thousands of novenas, and I even failed the box. I know I didn't study, but I never stopped believing. My granny claimed Coke Patrick, but I still failed to leave him. The family were mighty, but I'm still at a loss. They went to benediction and the stations of the cross. They lit loads of blessed candles to St. Martin and St. Jude. They spent hours in the chapel, and still it did no good. Oh, my father went to Fatima, my mother went to knock. They said thousands of no Venus, and I even failed the mocks. I know I didn't study, but I never stopped believing. My granny claimed Coke Patrick, but I still fail believing. With all this education, I was never good at counting. And I don't know how many times me granny climbed that mountain. I know I didn't study, but I never stopped believing. My granny climbed Coke Patrick, but I still feel the leaving. No, oh, me father went to Fatima, me mother went to knock. They said thousands of no Venus, and I even failed the mocks. I know I didn't study, but I never stopped believing. My granny claimed Coke Patrick, but I still failed to leave him. I know I didn't study, but I never stopped believing. Go on, granny, I've got to My granny claimed Coke Patrick, but I still failed to leave him. Oh, Connell, you're a hopeless case. And the next time I'm in Knock, I'm going to say a prayer that you pass them exams. But thank you for all your wonderful entertainment. And if you get a chance to go along and see Colin Gallon's live shows this year, do so. You'll really enjoy them. Anyway, we hope that we brought a smile to your faces at home. Now, Henry McGlade is back with his show next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. And we are here with the Irish in the UK at 7.30. Thank you for watching. Hey.